right, I just got another Helpsy box in and I wanted to show you what I got inside of it. I'm just gonna run through this one super fast in case any of you are curious about the Abercrombie box because it seems like one that Helpsy has in stock pretty often. The total price for the box is $140 with free shipping. My discount code gets you 10% off, so that's $14 off, so the box is $126 shipped for 40 pieces of Abercrombie clothing. I wanted to order this one because I wanted to see if it was more of the older styles or some of the newer tags. I was curious and thought that this could be helpful maybe for some of you guys who may want to order the box if you like selling Abercrombie. So $126 divided by 40. It brought my cost of goods down to $3.15 per item, which was pretty amazing. Um, that's cheaper than I can get Abercrombie for at my thrift stores. <laughs> Archie just had to go scratch his scratching post right now. <laughs> you might see him walking around in the background but i did open this box already i didn't go through the whole thing i looked at a few things on top but did not go through the whole thing yet first thing i see is a pair of abercrombie and fitch the super skinny ankle high rise jeans skinny jeans aren't super trendy right now uh, but they do still sell i especially like picking up the curve love the abercrombie jeans that say curve love i've actually been staying away from picking up the newer Abercrombie and Fitch jeans, if they are not curved love, a same with the shorts, because I think that this one does the best. I think it's what people look for. This is a size zero zero extra short though. So that is kind of maybe a size that will sit a little bit longer, but I still sell sizes like this. I did actually, I think recently sell a pair of Abercrombie and Fitch jeans in that size. Next up is this Abercrombie and Fitch hoodie. This is what I was scared the whole box would be, this like older style kind of Abercrombie stuff. I don't know how this will do. I don't know if it will sell, I don't know if it, is there's a market for it now but i will list it and see how it does these i'm excited about their new tags the mom shorts high rise they are not curve love so again when i pick this stuff up at the thrift store our shorts are typically like seven dollars around here and our jeans are like 8.99 to 11.99 so i have to be super picky so i've been passing on the abercrombie shorts for like eight dollars if they're not curve love but we'll pick them up if they are i just think that people are looking for the curve love and if they're not they sit for a little bit longer but i think that these will do well because they are new attacks and i only paid three dollars and what 15 cents for these so i think that this was still this was a score so next up is a shirt this is a size small just looks like a little blouse with a faux wrap front this stuff does kind of smell like it's been sitting in a box for a while so probably a lot of it needs washed this is an abercrombie and fitch sweater um it is a size medium just this orange sweater this is a size small it looks like a little cropped button-up shirt this is pretty cute this is looks like a dress it is a size extra small looks like a floral print mini or maxi dress this is cute i probably would have picked this up for three dollars at the thrift store this one's really cute i think i've sold something similar to this before it's a just like a lace cami it is a size extra small i think that this is a newer piece because i do remember i bought some stuff from abercrombie to resell on clearance because i had a gift card from thread up and i think i bought one of those tank tops and that was like probably like a year ago this is a size small little midi skirt i really like this one i like the slit on the side of it i mean so far besides like the sweatshirt i would definitely pay like three dollars for this stuff to resell so that is exciting <laughs> if you have thrift stores that charge an insane amount of money healthy can be a pretty good option sometimes if you can't get these prices anywhere else this is a new tags little dress it is a size small oh this is cute this is really cute i like the blue I might have to try this one on. It looks a little small, but it is really cute. <laughs> this looks like a sweater. Uh, this is actually a kid's sweater. The box did not say it was kids. I don't know if it clarified what it was. So um, I don't have I don't have luck selling Abercrombie kids. I had a sweater. I've had a sweater sitting for a while that I got at the bins, but also see how this does. I probably would not have picked this up at the thrift store. It has the little abercrombie logo on it oh i actually have this or one very similar oh no mine's not the same mine's a bodysuit uh but it's this really cute crop top mine kind of has a similar feel the fabric's the same this is a size medium i wish this was my size this is really cute definitely a newer abercrombie and fitch tag to focus low <laughs> definitely a newer abercrombie and fitch tag this is a skirt um 
it looks like it's been through the wash many times you know that like rayon material and it'll get like wrinkly if you put it in the washer and dryer too many times it's definitely giving that vibe but still pretty cute next is a sweater just like a plain little knit sweater there's the tag this one feels like an older style to me can i check do they have date tags on abercrombie and finch because that would make things a whole lot easier for me i don't see it i think this one is an older style another possibly older tag this one is a just a striped little flowy crop top i feel like stuff like this will probably get like 10 to 15 dollars on poshmark or ebay which i mean at a buy cost of three dollars you're still making some money on that so not mad about those pieces i do wish this box was full of the new abercrombie jeans but <laughs> um this is a this is a really cute skirt it is a size extra large um i think it's like midi or knee lane that has a big slit on the side this is so cute i really like the flowers i think that this is really on like trend right now uh with the length of the skirt and then also the blues and the florals i think that this is so cute it should do pretty well this is another sweater this is definitely an old one just like a plain black turtleneck it has a lot of pilling and wash wear we'll see how it looks after i run it through the washer but there's definitely so much pilling that i don't know if it's worth my time to use a pill shaver or fabric shaver on the whole thing just because this probably won't sell for a ton but I, i'll run it through the wash and see what it looks like before i would like donate it this is a pair of very old abercrombie fitch jeans they are a size 26. my camera just has trouble focusing all the time anyway these are size 26 actually a too long so this is a long pair sometimes like uh long pairs of jeans are a little bit harder to sell but this style is kind of good um it, i think it's boot cut not flare but this might this might do well if i market it right if i do like y2k abercrombie boot cut flare bottom some kind of thing like that i think that i could still get those to sell another i think older tag this is just a striped sweater has some sparkle in it it's acrylic i think it feels like it's acrylic let me find out yeah acrylic nylon oh it's 12 percent wool that's kind of exciting it's a wool blend sweatshirt oh my gosh <laughs> did anyone else have this skirt in like middle school i'm pretty sure i had i don't think mine was from abercrombie i think i had the hollister version of this skirt but it, the exact same skirt honestly i think that this is one of those things that has come back into style this is a size medium i'm honestly kind of tempted to try this on and like relive my childhood <laughs> i don't know if this is going to be a good seller or not but i'm excited to see it in the box it's bringing back some mems please write in the comments if you also had that skirt i feel like it was a canon event this is a floral shirt size medium ties at the top back can you see the flowers They're like mini tiny ones this is just a plain t-shirt size small this box goes on forever i'm gonna have to start stacking the clothes elsewhere oh because they're getting in the frame <laughs> this is what i'm very confused by this oh it's like it has like a mock neck it, this is a size small this one's super pilly on the inside and there's some pilling on the outside this is kind of cute though it has that mock neck top it's a sweatshirt kind of material these are pants a size small looks like a tapered leg kind of trouser is the bottom i think that these are an older style but might still do pretty well has like the paper bag kind of style top i think the belt might sell it now kind of a trendy looking belt oh this is exciting okay these are new attacks the jeans they're curve love and they're a size 36 22 short uh the mom high rise this is a really good style really good size their new tag i'm super happy with this one i'm excited oh this will be a good one this is what i was hoping for in this box some of these jeans that have been selling pretty well for me archie is here to join the party <laughs> this is another pair of jeans these are not curve love but they are the dad high rise which is a good style they have like a asymmetrical button-up front this is really cute this is a size medium it's a ribbed knit skirt this would look so cute in the fall i wish this was my size this is a pair of okay i'm not excited about these ones you're gonna get some duds in some of these boxes this is a very old pair of abercrombie and i don't know if they are meant to be shorts or if someone cut them no someone cut these because they, it says that they're the harper super skinny and they're for shorts if it was a pair of shorts it wouldn't say short um so it looks like somebody turned these into shorts themselves and then also it has like 
a ton of puckering in the front. This one is gonna be immediately redonated. This is something I'm probably not gonna sell. Oh, these are so old. These are giving, oh my gosh, and it had something on the back. Okay, hold on. Do you remember these from the early 2000s? <laughs> Um, it also looks like it said New York on the back, but they either took the patches off or wore off These are also like pretty pilly and beat So I think that these are also gonna go in the donate pile with those shorts Did they put all the bat stuff on the bottom of the box? No, because those jeans were pretty close to the bottom except I feel like this might be another donate This is a size extra small. This is the pilliest shirt I may have ever seen in my entire life I don't know if it's gonna pick it up on camera yeah, I, this also headed straight to that donate pile. So that's three right now. That's our count of the donate pile. This is cute. This is an uh, soft A&F Essentials. It's just kind of like a colored little crop top size extra small. This is really cute. All right, another pair of shorts. Do we think someone cut these? No, <laughs> these are just a plain pair of white shorts. This is an older tag, waist 24, uh, super small size, but I did just sell I'm always on this like I'm like people tell you not to pick up small sizes because they sit too long But sometimes they sit but they still sell except the other day we went to Goodwill and I picked up a pair of Madewell jean shorts They were size 24. They sold within 24 hours for I think she sent me an offer of 20 or 25 dollars Possibly 20. They sold so fast under 24 hours a size 24 So don't be scared to pick up small sizes. My thing is flashing red. My camera might shut off We sh we'll, we'll see. I don't know what it's doing. I don't know why it's red <laughs> Okay, I'm back. It did shut off. Uh, this is, looks like a bodysuit. A yellow bodysuit, very wrinkly. This looks like a Henley or a thermal Abercrombie and Fitch size medium. This is cute. It's just like a thermal top. Classic old Abercrombie and Fitch flannel. I like the, this is super soft. Oh, it has like the A and F on the pocket too. Dang, probably still trying to sell that. Next is a pair of, another pair of jeans. They're not curved up. They're also a zero, zero short. What are you doing, Halsey? These are the super skinny high rise, zero, zero shorts. A tiny pair of jeans. Again, should still sell even though they are small. This looks exactly like that one sweatshirt. Oh, it's a set. Oh, that's cute. Helpsy, thank you for giving me the entire set. This is just like a, a pair of joggers. I'm assuming they go with that one shirt I showed earlier. Oh, they do. This is the sweatshirt and then this is the pants. They go together. That's cute. Are they the same size? Yeah, they're both smalls. Thank you for giving me the set, Helpsy. <laughs> this is a basic pocket crop top and this is really cute it's like a ribbed long sleeve bodysuit with a collar this looks pretty current and then the last thing in the box is this jacket quarter zip uh this sherpa quarter zip pink maroon white this is pretty cute it is a size medium all right overall I'm pretty impressed. Definitely a mix of modern and older Abercrombie tags. So I'm happy that it wasn't all older Abercrombie tags. I was worried about that. I'll definitely make money on this box. Like those jeans alone should do pretty well. Like sell for the the larger size ones should probably sell it for at least $40 a piece. I paid $126 total for this box. So everything else should like a few things should cover the cost of the whole box. So I think that this was a pretty good box. Like if you sell Abercrombie, you see it at the thrift store a lot. I'd probably just pick it up at the thrift store then but if you're like me and your thrift stores mark it up a ton this is a great like lower cost option like yeah you have to pay kind of more up front because it's in bulk but i can't get inventory for this cost hi she i can't get inventory for this cost at my thrift store so it's a pretty good deal for me i do want to mention I forgot to say this at the beginning of the video. I am part of Helpsy's affiliate program, which means every time you use style, the code styled by Carly and get the 10% off, I get a small commission from your order. Um, it doesn't add any cost to your total price. I just get like a small percentage of it because you used my code. So just wanted to be super transparent about that and that like part of the, I ordered this Abercrombie box and Everlane box and a Halara dresses box recently. And part of those boxes were paid for with those commissions I get from you guys using my code. So thank you so much to anyone who has used my code. I really appreciate it. Helps me continue to do these unboxings and continue to have some inventory for like my Poshmark and eBay and honestly my own closet. The whole Lara dresses are so cute. I've been looking for some 
active wear dresses for myself so i was able to keep a few of those which is super exciting a few of them fit but i'm currently listing the rest of them in my poshmark closet i hope you enjoyed this video if you've ordered the abercrombie box before let me know let me know if you also had kind of like a mix of the older styles and the newer ones i'd be curious to no, but yeah, I think that is gonna wrap up this video. If you'd like to see another help seat unboxing, I will link it up in one of these corners so you can watch that next. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.